a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Sunday, June 28th of 2020, and you're listening to episode 236 of the BCC Podcast. I'm LQ, and joining me today is Leo. Hello there. How are you? I'm good, Leo. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. This is valuable information the audience must know. And also, Ford. I've been uh, acquiring a lot of 2009 Bionicle sets recently, and now I have the entire main cast of The Legend Reborn. So, only took me about 11 11 years to do that. (laughs) Once again, congratulations. Thank you. And Clenda? I saw a Wonder Woman 84 set in the store the other day. Yeah, that should be out now. I, I had never seen it before, not even online, which means I'm not you doing You were on the podcast where we talked about it. <laughs> yeah. I do not remember it, but I have very little memory of anything now. And finally, Mace. Hello. I have not seen any sets in any stores. Wait, have you even been to the store? Really? No, that's why. Ah. <laughs> All right, then. Well, today we've got a news-based podcast. The Lego Ideas Review. What is it? Second 2020 review? Or is it still first? Uh, it's the, th- the I first. think it's the third 2019 review. Result. Yeah. Okay got the results from that we've also got some new uh, lego city sets to be released in august revealed and we'll be talking about those as well so well let's get down to it the lego ideas results now bass guitar riff as we change scenes there are quite a few people who seem upset by these honestly it's about what I expected, <laughs> and I'm pretty happy <laughs> yeah, with the result. Yeah, disappointed in what you expect, though. You mean you expected Bionicle to fail? I, hadn't yeah. I been saying that? Ford, that's the default position you should take. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess. I guess I'm I pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, haven't I said on the podcast before, I don't know that it meets the criteria to get past the review? You may have, and I just seem to be forgetting now in my own blind hatred for Lego. Well then, yeah, I was it's saying not really blind hatred, but to, for a original Lego IP to be, essentially have a set put into Lego Ideas form is unheard of. And the fact that they don't allow licensed themes that already exist to get sets in Lego Ideas makes me think that it's a, a pretty long shot for even an original IP to get a set through Lego Ideas. So I never really thought it had a great chance. I had hoped it would. I would have bought it if it would, but I was not at all expecting it to pass. Yeah, honestly, that's the right path to take. It's never going to happen. I mean, there's a chance, and why not try, but do not get your hopes up. I mean, we're already spamming a bunch of other Bionicle projects into ideas. But that's the wrong (laughs) way to go. Don't spam it. Pick a nah. few that are great and know those, just... sure, but don't just... I, I have I have two thoughts. Uh, one, sure, I think it would have had a really good chance uh, to get past if the most recent, or that more recent uh, Pirate Bay had been released like a year earlier, and the sales data for that could have been brought in. I don't think that would have had anything I, to do with it. Well, well, here's the thing. I haven't seen a set like that sell out as fast as that one did since the exosuit and the natural history museum well also keep in like mind that, that pirate is a beloved a fall theme true and the fact that it was made um in from a very like you know big like fortress looking thing into a tribute to the black seas barracuda i think that's telling of like what people really want so i think to to make a nostalgia base set like that could have really worked well, for well those are two At completely the... different types of nostalgia. I mean, yes, and well, yeah, but do, do you kind of see where I'm getting at here? At least a little bit? No, not yeah, at all. But, 
I, I, I can. Well, no, I get your point. I just don't think your point is valid. <laughs> yeah, because well, just... my other point is, I think a set depicting the giant robot battle would probably work well for Lego ideas if you make them like brick based robots because it's very generic in general and if you make them really well built people will probably want them even if they are not bionicle fans i'm not so sure yeah i think you've got to go more iconic like a lot of those moments that they showed in the diorama were iconic to bionicle fans but you got to appeal to the mass market like something like tahu's face brick built would be far more yeah. like i'm not like even that. sure as popular like as bionicle it is a, there's not a huge Bionicle AFOL community the same way as there's for Pirates. Saying, like, the, the robots themselves are pretty generic looking to an outsider. So I think like for somebody who who has a, you know, not not that much of a uh, a growing collection of large robots that are brick built <laughs> that are also not mechs, um, that might be appealing to that kind of person. I don't know. I don't know that it would be because why would they? Because they they know clearly it's supposed to be based off of something, and if something's based off something and you don't care about what it's based off of, chances are you're just not going to buy it. Well, what if they're really well made? What if it's like the Ninjago movie all over? It, where Ninja a bunch of people are like, "Man, I don't really care about Ninjago." But Ninjago's not based off something; those were original sets. So is Bionicle. It's an original set. No, this is this is not an original set here. This is based off of Bionicle. Well, the Ninjago movie things are based off the Ninjago series. Yeah. Same way that is based um, off the series. No. They're based <laughs> off of based the off the movie that as well. So. From, from Ninjago. Really Wrong show. on both accounts there with Ninjago. For one, they weren't based off the movie. They were made to coincide with the movie. Most likely the sets actually came first, and then they put them in the movie. Because... A large part of that movie was to sell the product. And the second part of that is the movie was really not based off of the show at all. And the third part is it would be a continuation of Ninjago, which is an original Lego IP that's ongoing anyways. They weren't based off of anything. It's just an extension of new Ninjago sets coming out. Do you still think that they could make something in a theme that really wouldn't appeal to many other people, but still, you know, look interesting enough for somebody who wouldn't otherwise be interested in that? to get it only if it's an original theme that makes original sets anyways but why does it have to be an original theme because that's how it's able to appeal to other people because they know this isn't some sort of fandom that i have to be into it's just a set in itself well Ninjago why, is not you don't have to be in a in the bionicle fandom to buy a bionicle set people wouldn't they're not no one who only cares about lego in general and doesn't care about bionicle would buy a bionicle set A special set made entirely to be a tribute to Bionicle. Okay, no one except Bionicle fans is, would buy it. If you made, say, the Great Spirit Robot into a very generic looking brick-based robot set, like brick-based mm. humanoid build, do you think everyone would buy it? Just like hypothetically, like you get 10 Not people, at all. how many people would buy it? Only Zero those who grew up with Bionicle. It. Zero. Only those that grew up with Even if it looked really cool mm -hmm. and somebody said, hey, that looks pretty cool. I have no real interest in Bionicle, but I want that. You don't think there would be any people who would say that? Maybe a, like a small, small percent that's not going to give any financial impact. But to the, to the Ninjago movie people who say, I'm not really interested in Ninjago, but I like that set. Ninjago's not the same thing. It's a just sets. It's not based off of a story or fandom or anything it's just sets and this is very going to be very clearly based off something every lego fan knows about this okay how about i mean going going a little further with ideas how about the people who said hey i don't really know what tron legacy is but i'm gonna buy that tron legacy set i'm sure it. no one did that yeah i'm absolutely sure no one bought the tron legacy set without knowing what tron legacy is Where's your proof? I Ryan. don't have proof, but... You don't need proof. Yeah, it's a logical conclusion. I can't prove it. 
but it's a very logical conclusion that and also like aren't there people in these comments who are saying like not just on Brickset and like other sites who are saying oh i don't really know what seinfeld or home alone are but i think they look pretty good i'd get that the home alone house yes seinfeld no everyone knows what it is yeah in fact it's the exact opposite that's why people there's this community that doesn't like the seinfeld sex they don't realize what a big fandom seinfeld has seinfeld it is, is one great. of the most popular sitcoms of all time. and but yeah everyone's mad because they they don't they wouldn't buy it without knowing what seinfeld is and they don't know what seinfeld is it's because there's zoomers and so them. that basically proves my point what is that talking about bionicle seinfeld is more popular than bionicle it is I mean, yeah i know that but all right what whatever Seinfeld ran long think? enough to advertise bionicle but yeah my point is that it could have never made it but my point also is that people do have to understand that the demographic it would appeal to is small well bionicle had a huge cultural impact a lot of the people that were into bionicle now don't buy lego anymore we can see that from G2, especially, that they didn't know it was a thing. And you know why they didn't know it was a thing? Because they don't keep up with the Lego community anymore. People still remember it. That's why there's the big Bionicle meme face for a while. People remember this. It was iconic for a while. But they're not, like, die-hard fans. They're like, oh, yeah, that was a thing. That was part of my childhood. That's cool. Not, I've got to have this. It's not to the level of, like, Star Wars or something that and lego people. has done like everything in its power to crush bionicles legacy <laughs> into the ground i don't think that's I, true yeah I, I wouldn't assign that motive in uh, fact they just released a set that has a bionicle reference in it i mean that's more up to the designer it's not really but it made it pass the like, review. Uh, uh, it's the same thing all of this wait. it's not like there's someone that's just out to get bionicle <laughs> in LEGO. Well, i mean they have western references too don't they yeah and they've but, crushed Western pretty much into the ground, except for, like, I think lack of sales. chase minifigure here and there. I think Lack of Sales did that to both of those, though. Yeah, it wasn't because they just dislike Western. It's because it doesn't appeal as much to kids. I'm sure at some point in the future we're going to get more Western sets, especially with the new A-Fall focused themes. I would not doubt we get some pretty big Western set soon. I kind of hope so. I feel like it it just we need something to kind of refresh. You know, we need something different from all the, sure the futuristic what. vehicles and all that. Well, I'd like something nice and classic. Like the Home Alone house. You know what's Not really classic? classic? What? Not 90s classic. The typewriter. It makes me happy and it's the only set here I'll probably buy. <laughs> See, I wasn't gonna buy the typewriter, but because of how much it's been being bullied, I kind of wanna get it annoyed that it's being bullied as much like firstly i'm not part of either i have watched neither home alone nor seinfeld i on the other hand i do own a typewriter no so home alone to, i've considered getting it from her yes yeah i might get the typewriter i'll have to see what the final model looks like of yeah course. i want to see what the it's final be model too many hundreds of dollars like because it's too little value to me for me to get it oh, yeah, i don't care about typewriters depends on how much it costs but if all of the things being equal, I would buy this one. But then, As it stands, like, I, I, want, I want a typewriter that has, like, a either a, some kind of working mechanism or an actual complete keyboard. You it does. It has both. It doesn't have a space bar. It doesn't have a space, it bar. Have a space bar. It doesn't have any punctuation marks. That's true, I guess, but it does it's have just, a working it, mechanism. Yeah, I mean, like, the concept is there. I guess, like, they just wanted to get the concept out there, which is fine. But I hope that... It's just written and it looks really well, though. actually make it better. Because <laughs> as it stands right now, it's just kind of underwhelming to me. Also, the same people complaining about the typewriter are also the ones that are always complaining about license sets. Mm-hmm. That's my argument against all these people that say there's too many license sets. Well, you don't buy the original sets anyway, so why are you complaining? True. There, Lego makes every variety of original sets, just about, with very mm -hmm. little exception. At some point, there might not be a whole theme. You don't really need a whole theme. If there's just an expensive model, that can be just as good. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the typewriter does not deserve to be bullied. Other thing is, the typewriter did not kill the Bionicle Project. 
they approved three projects from this wave. Yeah, that's kind of unheard of. Isn't yeah, it? <laughs> I don't think it's not me that like sets win over other sets. I really think it's just up to Lego reviewing it and deciding will it work as a set as all, and they're gonna approve anything they think will end up working as a set. So, yeah, I do not think people should be bullying the typewriter. I think people are have perfect right to be upset Bionicle wasn't picked, but they're making some pretty stupid arguments out there about it. For one, like I said, it's not Lego is trying to crush. This isn't some grand scheme by Lego. We don't even know the criteria why it was rejected. I mean, Ratatouille is more popular than Bionicle, likely, and it got rejected as well. Does Lego have some vendetta against Ratatouille? <laughs> Well, I mean, they still did manage to get at least one Disney set in there. So. What? Well, Just Disney owns Home Alone. Disney? Yeah, Disney oh. owns Home Alone. But that doesn't really matter. My I point know. is. Still. <laughs> my point you're is. Saying, you're saying, like, Disney can't get in there, but it did. No, I didn't say Disney can't get in there. I said a Disney set didn't make it, even though it met all what should be criteria to be a set. But it technically did. No, I'm talking specifically about the Ratatouille set here. I mean, the Ratatouille set didn't make it. That's a Disney set. I'm not talking, you mean make it home produced alone. by Disney, not purchased by Disney. No, I mean that a set, I'm just talking about the Ratatouille set in itself, That's meets fine. all the criteria and more that the Bionicle set met, and it was also rejected. So it's not some personal vendetta Lego has against Bionicle. Otherwise, you'd have to also say they have a personal vendetta against Ratatouille. I mean, maybe they do. Who knows? I really don't. I'm just but... saying that as a joke. Jeez. <laughs> you're not you're allowed to joke about you're Lego. not taking it like one. The other one people are really upset about, upset about getting rejected is Legend of Zelda. That's been rejected like three or four times now, so I was not surprised at all. Only four? If not more, I forget. I remember the there's the I'm two we, we talked about last episode, and there's the well, all the Iron Knuckle encounter. I think wasn't there a King of Red Lions one that got rejected too? Yeah, but we didn't get to that get that far. I don't think. So at least four. Yeah. So I don't, and they like I forget it was a Lego employee said on Twitter that this does not mean there'll never be a Bionicle idea set they'll get approved. So we do know that. <laughs> It's against right now. It's hopes. not specifically against the rules. This just wasn't a set that met their criteria in review. I wouldn't have predicted. So, it so you're be. saying like, I don't want to like keep belaboring this point, but you're. I'm saying that like you could still make a Bionicle themed set that could appeal to many different people. I know. I if think it's tough to appeal right. to Bionicle fans, but it would just have to meet the criteria to be worth it to produce a set that just appeals to Bionicle fans. Like the use Why does it just property? have to appeal, appeal to Bionicle fans? It because could appeal to everybody if you made it that way. It wouldn't. Why not? Just like you're not going to make a well-designed Star Wars set that appears to people that don't like Star Wars. What if you do, though? Like, what if just, like, you catch lightning in a bottle suddenly with a star wars set and suddenly it just like everybody wants it i think there's that's not very likely to happen yeah it's very people. unlikely to happen obviously it could happen but logic dictates that is very unlikely improbable unfortunately just, just so. mr spock you're right mr spock so next up let's talk about seinfeld mm-hmm <laughs> It's very predictable that this one would have gone through. We've already got Friends, Big Bang Theory, and I think one other that I just can't remember. No, that's the truth. Not the Office. The hmm? Office would have made it if it didn't sell its license <laughs> to another company. Exactly. Exactly. So, Seinfeld, yeah, we kind of knew this was going to be a thing. Obviously, these sitcom sets sell very well, which is, again, why people on Twitter, I don't understand. They're like, wouldn't the Lego see these sets don't sell well? No one even knows about it. Well, Lego has done several of these, and they continue to do them, so obviously they sell well. Yeah, I've well, got the Friends apparently, one. Well, apparently, the Big Bang Theory one didn't sell too well, but the Friends set did. Mm -hmm. So well, I Friends think it's, it's more like the, the kind of throwback, theory. like, 90 shows that are doing really well. Well, also, I think 
friends in Seinfeld will probably more fondly remember than Big Bang Theory was long term. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So this I mean, is... even I would say that like Friends is way better than Big Bang Theory, and I didn't even like Friends that much. So <laughs> there's that. So Ford. I meant the show, not the the set. The set Ford. was. Fun. I have a question. Have Have you met any scientists in your circles who like Big Bang Theory? Me? Yeah, you. Um, my chemistry professor in my sophomore year of high school liked it, but she was dumb and i will put that on record she was dumb because <laughs> to my knowledge i have not met any of my well i mean like science circles are yeah. just just as a side story my my chemistry professor in my sophomore was given a new <laughs> curriculum by the state of new jersey i'm putting the new jersey on record here too uh saying that you just have to give the kids a computer and they can teach chemistry to themselves. That's because what I that... did. <laughs> yes, but in a public school where you're used to going every day to see a teacher who actually teaches you, that doesn't really work with that kind of setting. That's what you get for being so dependent on but, teachers. But here's the thing. They didn't give us any like specified program on like what to do with like say like a chemistry textbook type of program that you get with your curriculum they just give you the internet and say have at it well then am i not reaching you with this like do, do you not No, i get it we're reviewing way off topic <laughs> okay so I leo guess, I, guess. I think you've seen the most seinfeld here and by most seinfeld you mean the clips that youtube has recommended to me yeah <laughs> I've seen some clips, not all of them. Well, in that case, I suppose I've seen the most. I didn't know I've you watched Seinfeld, me. Mace. Got it. I don't, but I've seen it before. You know, it used to run on regular TV back when that was a thing. <laughs> it did. Back when people watched TV. Mm -hmm. I'll watch it when Netflix puts it on. Because it was... I haven't really seen like, a full episode of this. Just clips. I think it was streaming at some point, but I don't remember. It was on it. Netflix at one point a few years ago. But the the best part, thing about this set is George Costanza. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's not bad. Well, we'll see how the minifigure comes out, too. That's a bit judge, early to judge those, even though this is a pretty well-put-together model already. It yeah, I just want is. them to put in that Jaws poster. <laughs> Unless that's already a sticker that they made. Is it? Mm, I think so. Perhaps in the um, movie theater part of one of the Ninjago City sets. <laughs> No, I don't. It, it wasn't in Ninjago if it was a thing. Okay. Then perhaps not. Couldn't have been in the palace cinema. Could it? I don't think so. Those are all like. It's too small for that. I do recall this slightly from somewhere, though. Mm hmm. It does look familiar. Hmm. I mean, it is a sticker, so they had to get it from somewhere, and I don't think they're allowed to use custom stickers, are they? No, they can. Ideas. Yeah, they can. Maybe, use, they maybe, can. Just, maybe they just custom. I don't know. These figures here are custom themselves, yeah. and it won. Yeah, the only the only um, restriction is new molds, right? I think so. That's correct. You can use prints. I'm pretty sure you can even use different colors that don't exist, and you can. Well, they'll probably decide what's prints or stickers in the end. So, yeah, that's perfectly legal. Uh, and if not, I will make it. Yeah, I think the Seinfeld set's pretty well designed, and I'm pretty sure it'll sell well. Again, Seinfeld is a better show than Friends, so. Yeah. The only thing mm. that would be better is if there was a risk board. There could be. There could be a risk board. Someone get on that. Still need to watch the show. I don't really understand what you're saying. Seinfeld is like kind of the grandfather of any good modern day sitcom. From what I've heard, yeah. So, but don't take it to college. What? Why? Seinfeld doesn't go to college anymore. What? What? You don't get that? Nope. No. He doesn't it's do stand up at colleges anymore because oh, you know he oh. dropped out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that's right. He dropped I've heard. Out. What's the deal with stand up college? Comedy in college. <laughs> uh, it's almost as bad as the airline food. <laughs> from the visionary that brought you the B movie 
Oh, yeah. All right. Then there's one more set on here. My personal favorite. I did not expect this to get approved at all, actually, and I'm very excited that it did. From one of my like, all-time favorite movies, Home Alone. It's a very nice model. It's a very nice house. But, no, I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to buy this day one. Because... So do you have a price estimate for it? Uh, probably two to three fifty. Yeah, three to three fifty would be my guess, unless they scale it down, which is an option. Because it's like the entire like whole like scale model replica. Yes, house. and that's what I love. Oh, yeah. I love buildings that have all four walls. And like I it love has all the load the trap and everything. And it's so iconic, and it can be used like as a Christmas decoration even. But they didn't put in the circle. There could be in the final model. They could also include that. Yeah. Like, they also need that statue that the pizza guy hits. It needs the oh, tree. Oh, yeah, that's out of there, too. I can definitely see they're going to do some work on this before the official yeah. model, which, which, if I had to bet, they'd probably have this slated to come around out around Christmas. That I would mean, sense. that's the opportune yeah. time to get it out there, right? Yeah. But no, I am super, super excited for this. Are there more pictures of this? Um, let me check, actually. Ah, uh, yeah, if you click on the picture from uh, Brickset, it takes you right to the page. And and you can see, like, how it opens up and all that. So it's very similar to the Simpsons house in a lot of ways. Like how it's designed. Oh, that piano build. Yes! Oh, man, yeah, the interiors that are so great. cool. Okay, yeah, now I want this. <laughs> 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 now now wait to see i, I was like man like lego ideas okay, like, yes. the final one is going to look better i can guarantee that mm -hmm. oh you've got like now the kitchen I'll which is so cool and the staircase mini so i can make my cousin Vinny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but also in the uh, this molly include the tree house in the back which i'm not sure if they will or not in the final it'll be interesting to see what oh, they do it is part of the escape. It is. Mm -hmm. You kind of have to include it. See, I, I'm very interested to see what the final model is going to look like, and I am 100% going to buy it. It's going to be so much fun to build. Like, how you never get houses this scale in Lego. Mm -hmm. It's complete Lego. Yeah. And it just, even if it wasn't Home Alone based, it just looks really cool. And it has the added bonus of being, like, super iconic. So, I am very excited for it. People are also mad about this one. But, of course, this is just a norm with Lego ideas now. As people like to be mad at anything that wasn't what they wanted. Speaking of That's Lego funny. ideas, what are, what are the next uh, Lego ideas set slated to be coming out? Oh, there's, like, so many. <laughs> There yeah, a quite a large thing. I mean, it hasn't been that long since we saw Barracuda Bay, I think but there's like twenty, like twenty six, for the next review. No, I'm talking about sets coming out. Yeah, no, oh, the, the sets have already been per confirmed to be coming Ooh. out. Uh, so should anything else get approved? I guess the playable Barracuda. piano. Uh, yeah, the playable piano is next up. Very good. These three, of course. Yeah. And the play piano yeah. is not one I have had huge interest in, but I am interested in seeing how they do it. Mm. Playable is cool. It's a cool idea. I'm not sure if it means playable, like it actually makes music, though, if you can just press the keys. Well, that would be lame. Where it goes. It's, it's just the keys, probably. Mm -hmm. Or oh. they'll put in a sound brick. Yeah. We need sound bricks back. We haven't gotten them in so long. Mm hmm Like, what, the last one was, what, 2008? Really? Wow. How long ago? Yeah. <sighs> so, I do have a question, though. Mm hmm Since we have the Home Alone house approved, does this pave the way for Trump Hotel and Home Alone 2 to be used? It probably used? actually means it de almost definitely won't happen. Oh, dang it. But... But it's down the hall and to the left. It is New York's premier hotel experience. 
<laughs> I, I would love to see more home alone yeah, sets but yeah it's not gonna happen <laughs> can we just get like a new york city like i mean sub-line? it does pave the way for someone to make a really good mock of it actually could we get a new york city subline from the 80s and 90s that would be cool uh... new york city today barring current world issues uh is kind of a dump wait it like, was even worse just... in the 70s <laughs> yeah but like at least the buildings looked cool but now it's just like there's nothing there new york is like way better today than it was in like the 70s yeah, or i don't know where you're going <laughs> If the last anything, time you were in New York. Never. No, for just statistically, New York is amazingly safer now. Than I'm not it was talking about safer. I'm not. I'm talking about looking cooler. Yeah, all right. Of course, talking about the aesthetic you get when yes. you feel riddled with crime. Aesthetic. <laughs> I want that Gotham City Gothic aesthetic <laughs> for my New York. All right. I mean, like a vintage town series for the 18 plus line would be cool too, to go alongside the fairgrounds. Yeah, that would be cool. Also, if they're doing uh, the adult theme, can we get a cathedral finally? No, I really want a Lego cathedral. I think they could do it. Why not? Unless it's based off of an existing one, I don't think they could just gonna do a generic one. I think they could. I mean, I why don't not? Think they will. They could, but I don't I think. think but like 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 a... some of the best architecture in human history, it'd be awesome to have a Lego set inspired yeah, by cathedral. You remember like when Jabba's palace got recalled because people thought that the building looked like a religious building? I thought that was just a rumor. Wait, no. which, which set? You called and gone. The Jabba's set palace like... set? Oh, I still don't understand that. Besides, people people don't care about um, disrespecting Christian icons anyway, so the church would be fine. But they also don't care about promoting them. Yeah, but it wouldn't be promoting them. It's just the architecture at this point. It wouldn't really be a religious thing. I mean, I would get an architecture set of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Yeah, I was about you to know, say. You see, that's like... And it's gotta be the old <laughs> Notre Dame Cathedral. Not yeah, the I new mean... one updated. <laughs> Alright? But, yeah, I mean, I could see them doing that. I just think it'd be cool. Just a line of Lego churches, I think, would be really cool. That's something I'd like to mock some days, like, just, like, a bunch of churches, because I think you could do really cool stuff with that. They would never do a Lego City-style generic one. Not, I'm, I'm talking about an 18-plus set, though. Yeah. Maybe, like, a like an architecture, like, micro-scale. 18-plus is a whole new world. Yeah, you see, when I say based off an existing one, I that I do believe that could happen, for real. But not just a random one. We didn't I mean, get a house until they based it off a Home Alone house. I mean, we got the haunted house. And uh, kind of just a... We didn't get a two-story residential house, you know? Well, not I think spooky. you mean like the haunted house. Like, house things. What was that? Didn't, wasn't there a... Uh, might have been like a windmill or a cottage type of thing? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm afraid. I do yeah, recall what you're saying. I'd have to be have a little more detail to place exactly what it is, but... <laughs> probably yeah lego does generic things so but not generic religious imagery actually there has been a lego church before yeah but that was a while ago there was a lego angel too but you haven't seen them make that for 15 years there is a lego angel yeah i have it i don't know it came out for christmas i have like a brick built angel ornament for my and Christmas again i'm not saying for like just a normal lego city church i'm talking about like an expensive aimed at adults set that doesn't that's that still wouldn't happen but why unless it was based off an existing one then they could plead um history and architecture you know but again, if it's it, it, for 18 up church. the toy company's not gonna say we have made our own church do you know it's not gonna happen why because they steer away from religious imagery. But with 18 plus, they're doing a bunch of stuff they had steered away from. They always said they steer yeah, away from 18 just plus. Because they have an 18 plus label on it doesn't mean that they're going to get backlash. Or that they're think, not going to get backlash. I don't think they get backlash for something like that, honestly. Just a building. They got backlash for Jabba's Palace. They're not going to make a Barracuda Bay style um, any random church built just because they feel like building a church. 
So they might base it on... Now, you gotta remember, there's a difference. We, the Java's Palace backlash was because that religion specifically did not want it done. It's because a very uh, small group of people was saying it was attacking but them. What if there are people who don't follow that religion, who don't want a church done? That's certainly a possibility, but I don't think they have the same you know, uh, argument if it's not even based, it's not even supposed to be for kids. If Lego's saying specifically it's not for kids. I think you're too biased in favor of this happening to see. I mean, I do think that, like, it really shouldn't be a problem, and it probably won't be a problem if they ever do this. There's other companies who have made things that certain people don't really Mm -hmm. like. And try to get. Like, I'm not canceled. saying for certain it'll happen, but with 18 but, plus, my point is there's yeah. a whole new world of sets we could get. Yeah, but like what I was saying, like they they make things that people that some people just don't really like that much, and they're really vocal. But they make it anyway mm-hmm. because they know that there's a market for that kind of thing. So I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm they just made a really ugly train for 18 plus, hurdle, but they're going to have to jump over, and they're going to have to jump really high over that to make sure they can get it to the. I actually I didn't grab any pictures of that. You guys saw the crocodile released, right? The train. When it said crocodile, I thought it was a crocodile crocodile, and I was excited. Yeah, I saw that. Be a I won. Uh, it's. I really don't think the train looks that good, though. I'm just not a fan of that type of train. <laughs> I wish I had an image of it, actually. There's only one train that I'll ever willingly own, and it's Hogwarts the Express. Hogwarts Express. Yeah. Like a cool train, of course, I did. I did get the hidden well, side Ford, train. That's because you're a nerd. <laughs> I did get the hidden side train because it was like the last set I needed to complete the hidden side wave one. But it was also on heavy clearance, so I guess nobody else liked it either. But it did come with track. Let's see here. I don't. I actually the crocodile locomotive. Like, uses its own track and everything. Hmm. I feel like more trains should come with track. Definitely. I think they usually do. Also, Lego still sells track by itself. Do they? Yeah. I I've believe so. I've never seen the listing. I've seen it in the stores, at least. Are they at the Lego store specifically? I recall that. Don't hold me no. to it. Yeah, let's talk a bit about this, because I guess we kind of missed it. It just looks so boring. Like, I guess it's good for, like, the people who really want, like, a very realistic-looking train in their city. I like old, classy stuff in Lego, but the thing is, this is not classy. It's kind of ugly. And, I look for train fans, I'm sure it's great. But as someone who just likes to look at nice things, (laughs) it's not as much. I'd like a really fancy locomotive instead. I still don't forgive it for being named Crocodile and not having anything to do with crocodiles. The Crocodile locomotive is a real thing. <laughs> I know, I don't forgive that either. Mm. Also... I mean, how, how... When does this date back to... Just out of curiosity. Uh, let's see. It's an electric train, so... It's gotta be uh, 1919 to 1921. This one's kind of cool. And it was a European train, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was German. Oh, wow. There's a picture of a you green one on here. I feel like it looks pretty cool. That makes it I think it would have looked better in green. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at a picture green, of a green. green. What was that? Yeah, but in green, blue, red, other colors. Yeah, the brown is brown. kind of my least favorite of all of these colors. I mean, there is a picture, and I'm pretty sure, just looking on Wikipedia, I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, Clendo, you posted... That's probably the one they based off of. I found another picture of it here. But honestly, like, those two pictures that you just posted, you could have used, like, that dark orange color, and it probably mm-hmm. would have been more... Or the vibrant. one Clenda posted, probably, yes. The one I posted is more brown. I, I think you could still get away with using dark for that one too i i'm guessing people would want people who are like big on trains would want it i mean dark orange is like weasley hair color so Mm -hmm. yeah i think you can make quite the hair of the weasley i can understand if i really like this train i would want it in brown 
However, not knowing much about the train itself, I like this green one, like a John Deere yeah. tractor. Yeah, that, one, that one you could have just made it teal. <laughs> People no, would love it. Green because crocodile. But back to Lego ideas for a moment. Here are still a few more rejected sets to talk about. Oh, here we go. What? <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> what are you expecting? I, I don't know. Nothing less, I suppose. I can't <laughs> seem to find the list of, of Where the did rejected you sets. last time. Here. Uh, oh, the... wait, there it is. Got it. Don't worry. So, a lot of people are also upset about Futurama. Okay. I don't really know why. I know Futurama has a big fan base, so I can understand it. I don't think it was a shoe in though, because I I generally don't see a lot of hype for it. Yeah, no, I'm afraid that's not like probably had more of a chance than Bionicle, honestly. But next up, the Queen. I want to break free. Like I watched the first. I mean, this is just like my first. <laughs> that would never happen. No, no. <laughs> okay, there is precedent for it to happen because of the Yellow Submarine set. But that's a that was actually pretty little good. Bit it wasn't different based on all it wasn't based on a music, music video. It was based on a movie. That's true enough. But yeah, I, I did know. not see that one happening. Ratatouille would have been a cool one to get. Yeah, but it's hard to pull off all the things that happen because it's all very very small. Like you can't fit Remy under the I, hat without making new pieces. I don't think you'd have to though because no one's gonna see it anyways. I think it loses a little something if you can't do that. I don't think so, because if you're not using it... Lego idea sets are generally aimed at an older audience, and if you're not going to be playing with the set, Remy doesn't need to be fit under the hat. That's a good point. But still, I feel like it could be better. I think the kitchen is set up really nice in that set, too. I do think they, sh they could make a new element to have like the hair-hat combo to give it that illusion, though. Yeah, it's like, possible. Um, what's his name? Is it Linguini? Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. Like, he doesn't really work without hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? Oh, for that much? Yeah, the set uh, kind of does that anyway. Yeah. So it... so they, they, yeah, like, it's in the set, but, like, they... Which, you come to think of, it might have been part of its downfall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, you can't have Linguini and not have his, like, crazy red hair. And what else we've got? We've got the big uh, battleship. Yeah, I can't actually yeah. read the name from the quality Should of the image they have on their blog. Like, you sunk my battleship. I don't think that one would ever get through. I did the chance they could make one, but no, okay. I would not assume it would. Not that one, at least. And we not don't really. One. I wish I'd give reason why each one was rejected. That'd be interesting. Uh, the Winter Chalet, that would have been a cool set as well. It looks really nice. Who knows why it didn't make it? Probably probably because they could only do one house, and they're going with the name with the, they're going with the one that matters. Maybe. It's hard to Winter say Chalet for certain. Is still pretty cool, but I think like by name recognition alone, it's like Winter Chalet, home alone. Winter mm -hmm. Chalet, home alone. <laughs> There's also a generic-looking train thing, Mabob. Uh, Toronto Rocket Subway. Yeah, I can see why that one didn't make it. Mm hmm It's just a long, light gray brick. Clockwork Aquarium. I could have seen that one working out, but... I wouldn't be surprised that. if they did it. Hold on, which, which list are we on again? The ones that didn't get through. Just post in chat. Yeah. Oh, you just... well, I was looking at the Wikipedia listing. The third 2019 review result. I found the Lego Ideas teal um, building that I mentioned earlier, <laughs> like half an hour ago. Uh, post it. Okay. Why is it not sending the thing? In the meantime, they also had a Legend of Zelda set, which didn't get through, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we mentioned that just a bit earlier. It's like the fifth time, so... Mm -hmm. just just as I, as I'm not saying give up, Legend of Zelda fans, but maybe it might be time to. I have hope that LEGO Legend of Zelda is in the works right now because they are working with Nintendo. That's possible, and that would be really cool. I, I also know. hope they listen to our podcast, They, but they probably didn't. They should have. <laughs> Look, uh, the old fishing store. Some people at LEGO are vaguely aware of our existence. 
Mm -hmm. Bruh. <laughs> the old fishing store. That's an interesting little set. I considered I getting it. I wish it, it would have still been out when I had money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the old fishing store. It's a really cool little one. So the oh, next... Nice. The next review, I think, is like one of the largest reviews, if not the it largest review the ever. <laughs> largest ever, yes. Mary Poppins, yes. Tesla Cybertruck, Untitled Bang Goose Game, Chee Chee Bang Bang, Train Station, which honestly, the train station is super cool, and I'd like to see that one happen. Wait, train station, is that Studgate? Looks like Studgate. Studgate. Why do they upload these images in They're such low small. resolution? <laughs> SpaceX Falcon. Really the Great Fishing Boat's also cool. Sonic Green Hill Zone, that's another hard maybe because the guidelines are vague. And Bricks and, Bloss, Bl Bricks and Blooms, modular building, probably not going to happen. Indiana Jones is another hard maybe because we don't know what the rules are with old license still. Why yeah. does it come with an old variant? I would say Indy is a no-go. They'll make more when Indy 4 comes out. They probably will maybe. reboot Indiana Did Jones when that Indy comes 4? out. Yeah. Did you? Oh, I meant Indy 5, when Indy 5 comes out. There we go. The bowling Indy alley 5. looks really cool, and I would totally buy it. We'll see if it can get through. I would have at one point said it's too big, but the precedent for size has changed over the years. I would like to see a bowling lane done in London. That'd be cool. Did you say bowling lane? You don't know what a bowling lane is? Yes, it's a word for bowling alley for uncultured people. Mm-hmm. I meant like a singular lane. Uh, no, actually, because technically, <laughs> no bowling alley today is called bowling Dude, alley anymore. Call it the bowling lanes. Bowling lanes is the technical name for them. No, okay, that is only men lane. were allowed in bowling that alleys. So that when they allowed <laughs> women in, they changed it to bowling lanes. That's weird. Mm. It's a bowling alley. And the huh. uh, SpaceX Falcon Nine. Doubt it. Mini yeah. fig scale project Gemini. I doubt it. Now we need more space. Knight Rider kit, a hard maybe. It could happen. I it want Knight Rider hard. with a sound brick and it be mini fig scale so that it says, uh, what, what, what was it say? Like, good evening, Michael. <laughs> Historically accurate room. I'm gonna say no. No. <laughs> Uh, I can't read the name of that pink one. I assume it's based off of something. Floraline's Pink Palace Apartments. That I mean, that's a hard no. Castle in the Forest. Uh, we've seen similar things like this so much I don't see them approving it. It would go well with the... Uh, oh, the Blacksmith Shop. That's another one that's kind of... That's true, but because of the Blacksmith Shop is so why I think this one won't make it. Generally, yeah. when they approve one thing from a uh, genre, they don't approve another... The Krusty Krab, I would love to see happen. A good Lego it, Krusty Krab would be awesome, but I don't think it'll it. happen. A light, maybe. I, in fact, I'm not sure if the SpongeBob license is still out to someone else currently. So, <sighs> well, we know Turtles is, and Nickelodeon owns both. The waterfall is cool. I'm not sure it would happen. It's a working waterfall. I wouldn't be surprised if Walking Waterfall won. It does seem interesting. Another Futurama set. I'm going to say a hard no. The Queen mm -hmm. Miracle Express, also hard no. Another Legend of Zelda, hard no. Mm -hmm. Iron Giant has a chance. Maybe. Earth Globe. I feel like they tried one before. What was that? I feel like they tried an Iron Giant before. I might be remembering wrong, though. This might be the same one we were thinking of. Mm -hmm. Because this was... Uh, Is it the, um, the first 2020 or... review? So it was in there a while ago. Also, these results aren't coming till fall. Mm. But Earth Globe, I think, has a chance as well. It looks right up their alley. Then there's another rocket, and maybe I think the previous results seem to show that they're kind of done using Lego ideas. If they want to make space sets now, they'll do it themselves. They have a direct pipeline to NASA. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we've got. A bit of time left here. We should go over those new police sets. There we go. Not a fan, personally. Let's so, see. Right? It's <laughs> under a new theme, um, Elite Police, mm -hmm. which is police with slightly more yellow. Mm -hmm. And a lot more dark blue. 
So first up is the boat transport. Interesting. It looks juniors though, which I I'm pretty sure it is. So <laughs> I think the reason it looks juniors is because I think it is juniors. Boom, called it. Yeah. Oh, I and then we have the driller chase. That one's all right. The drill thing's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of that vehicle they love to, to stick Bane with. Oh, yeah, that one. Uh, I don't know what it's called. The I, I don't know. I think it's called like Bane's Drill, something like that. Yeah. This might also be four plus. I can't tell. Maybe. There's nothing official. It's hard to say if that's completely built or not. They might just be small sets. They might be four plus. It's hard to yeah, say. Yeah, I think they're just small. I do like some of the hair pieces that are included with these two smaller of the, or I guess these first two sets. They're all the same price. Are they any new? Oh, you're right. That's like Lloyd's hair piece in brown. That's new. Yeah, and also the uh, uh, the thin hair piece in it, like a I can't auburn color type color. Is. Yeah, it's kind of like a Fish brown. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that's very cool. Then I don't know if that one's new, but I know that the Lloyd hair piece in brown is new. Cool. Yeah. Because I know they have it in black and blonde. I don't think they have anything else other than that. And that they is the Lloyd hairpiece, not the Cole, brown. right? Hmm? That is Lloyd's hairpiece, not Cole's, right? Yeah, that's Lloyd. Okay. Yeah. They also have that hair in very dark brown. They do? In what? Um, I can't recall. All I know is it's on my sick big. Oh, <laughs> oh, you meant the fin hair. Yeah, the fin hair. Yes, oh, okay, yeah. that one, yes. I was talking about. I thought you were talking about the Lloyd hair still. No, it's only been blonde and black so far. I mean, blonde and brown so far. And then we have the police lighthouse arrest. The lighthouse build is all right here. Oh, it's been blonde and black, the Lloyd hair. Sorry. I don't believe there's any new hair pieces in this one. No. Yeah, he doesn't. This one. This is... These are all priced at about twenty dollars. Not a fan <laughs> personally. I wouldn't get any of them, even if I got City. But I suppose I'm not the market. I mean, so I would consider maybe the boat transport now just to get the hair piece, honestly. I Did do you know, like that air piece. Last thing that kind of gets me thinking. Out. We don't have, like, a fully scaled Lego lighthouse. That would be a cool we don't. plus set. I would like a lighthouse, too. Lighthouses yeah. are cool. Like, with the actual, like, working lighthouse feature. Like, and I know that, like, uh, Hidden Side has the lighthouse. We I have, have a Ninjago lighthouse, but, it, but it's not very yeah, we realistic. Have a Ninjago lighthouse, but we need like a realistic, like full interior lighthouse with yeah. a working light. I'd right, like make that. that a Lego idea set. Yeah, I'd really like that. I would totally buy that, as long as it's not one of those ugly square lighthouses. And we <laughs> should make it based on the skeleton key as well. Hmm. Read nope. that. Well, You'll Michigan know. has a lot of lighthouses. We could base it off one of those. <laughs> Maine has no, a lot no, of lighthouses. Yours is far. Mine has killer rats. But Michigan right. is better than Maine. But mine I'm has killer rats. With you. Rats are awful. I see your point. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just because I work with mice in the lab doesn't mean that they're awful. Of mice and Ford. Well, and that's about it for the news today. Mm -hmm. There, I'm interested to see what these sets look like when they come out. And mm -hmm. like I said, the piano should be revealed, I would guess, fairly soon. We've got a lot of LEGO Ideas sets we're waiting on there. Yeah, I think there's like also a Sesame Street. Set oh, I totally forgot else. Sesame Street is going to be a there's thing. There's just so many. I don't even know anymore. LEGO Ideas is like one of LEGO's best themes, though. So <laughs> I'm very... Yeah, I've got Playable Piano, and then uh, Sesame Street, then Medieval Blacksmith, which, ooh, Medieval Blacksmith, uh, something I'll probably buy as well. Yeah, that one might be a room issue, though. And then we've got, also got mm -hmm. Winnie the Pooh, which I'm very interested to see what the final model oh, look like yeah. with Winnie the Pooh, because that needs a lot of altering. Yeah, oh, man, I forgot and about that one. They, they, it probably wouldn't go through, though, because of new. they would want new molds to pull it off, I think. Well, it did go through. It's already been approved, Leo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? No, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. It's oh, a winner. Dang it, you're right. So it's already oh. happening. It's, it's just a matter of what it will speak. look like. 
I already told my mom that I have to get it for. She she <laughs> loves Winnie the Pooh. No, <laughs> I wish that Piglet's house would have been in there. A whole Winnie the Pooh theme honestly would be really you cool. Mean, you mean like a rare, not not Wait. named at kids, like an adult Winnie the Pooh theme. Yeah, like I would love the, the a wood. Okay, you mean Owl's house, right? Mm. Not Piglet. <laughs> Owl, communist. Actually, Eeyore is more of a communist first, but Eeyore actually, I guess it's more socialism. Then Pooh's the only yeah, one that GD stand up for their capitalistic rights. Yeah. You told him, I mean, tell him it's your house, Piglet. Out and get that honey, you know what I'm saying? He's the only one with a shotgun. <laughs> he, that's how he, has, he has a blunderbuss. Yes, that's true. That. <laughs> it's true. He does. Well, could they include that in the set? No, but Pooh's I will give him one. They have this part already, though. Yeah, they do. They do. They have two different parts for it. They have the musket pistol and the and the actual like blunderbuss like gun. Where was that right. included? What stuff was that included? Yeah. It's included pistol? in a lot of pirate sets. Or the pistol, yeah. yeah, they have the blunderbuss pistol oh. and the blunderbuss like I long gun. Is it? I, I wouldn't it, call it a blunderbuss pistol. It's not really a blunderbuss though. It's just kind of like it's, it's that, that shape. Kind of like if you reprint it, it in gray, like, it fuses the flintlock blunderbuss aesthetics. Yeah, mm, you're right. But basically, they we have that piece. They could just reprint it in gray. They already have. Well, oh, cool. Metallic gray or like. So I can get one either way and just give it to Pooh. Like, you could. It's a win-win. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they made it in gum metal and they made it in brown. I don't know what other colors they made it in. I can get them all for Pooh. Pooh you believes can have... in the right to arm bears. <laughs> <laughs> all right. As always, be sure to leave a comment with your thoughts this week. Join the BCC Crew Discord server. Like, subscribe, and most importantly, share the podcast with your friends, family, neighbors, and whoever else likes Lego. All right. I'm so, good. for Ford, Clinda, Leo, Mason, myself, LQ, we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Have a good one. Farewell. Thank you.